after these words. Okay, so we got the average speed and the points. Do we have that? Because that's going to change. Can you sit out here? Sit out a little bit. Thank you. You sit back. Okay. Varsha out of break and then up to camp. <coughs> Press box. Press box. Any, um, and, and watch yourself. Watch yourself. Let her out. Yes, sir. Do you have any final word on how many laps Rusty led? How many lap? Anybody know how many laps he finally led? Two hundred and seventy plus. No, it's three hundred plus. Okay. He led over three hundred. Okay. Top five with that STP logo. Is there a goodies award today, Fred? The sun is growing low, the shadows long, the crowds are leaving Charlotte Motor Speedway, but the celebrations are just about to begin for Rusty Wallace and his Wallace Racing Team. Welcome back, I'm Bob Barsha, wrapping things up for you from our STP Pit Communication Center. It has been a spectacular day. There you see the final standings. Rusty Wallace in a last lap shootout with a big crowd favorite, Bill Elliott. Mark Martin almost got Elliott for second. Michael Waltrip finishing fourth, and Ernie Irvin fifth after a very strong day at the racetrack. Our true value hard charger points, once again, it's a Rusty Wallace runaway. He led 310 of the 400 laps, and that piles up a whopping total of 1,762 points. Kenny Schrader, Brett Bodine, Bill Elliott, and Davey Allison filling out the top five there. 1,500 bucks will go to Rusty Wallace. Our Timex uh, Speed Track Fastest Lap Award, Kenny Schrader from the get-go. This was one of the first 100 laps of the race, 166.51 miles an hour. We thought maybe Rusty or Bill would give us a topper in that last lap shootout, but they just didn't have the time or the traction to get it up to speed. So a set of Timex speed track computers will go to Kenny Schrader's team. Now let's get back to Ken Squire. Rusty Wallace came through in second place two years ago. Last year he detonated an engine. He comes back here today and flies around the speedway, leading some 310 of the 400 laps and winning his first Coca-Cola 600 at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. A final comment from you, Lynn? Rusty's back. I'm really glad you guys called me. I enjoyed this. <laughs> <laughs> and Rusty Wallace will move up in those standings. He came in here seventh today, and bad luck for dear old pal and hunting friend Dale Earnhardt. Well, he had trouble, but I tell you what, Rusty took, everybody took a shot at him today, but he held them all up. At the end of the event, there were 16 cars that uh, were no longer in this 42-car field, and I think that's outstanding. want to thank you all for joining us. want to thank you, Lynn St. James, for being with us and enjoying this great race on Memorial Day. We'll see you in Richmond, Virginia. Great job to both of you. Thank you so much for being with us, and thank you for joining us today here on WTBS for the 31st running of the Coca-Cola 600. Covering the pit center today was Bob Barsha. Ralph Shaheen was with us, Charlie Harville, Mark Pfister, Lynn St. James, and Neil Bonnet. Goodbye, I'm Ken Squire. The Coca-Cola 600 has been brought to you by the Coca-Cola Company and your local Coca-Cola bottler. Coca-Cola Classic, you can't beat the real thing. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? And by Coors. Coors, the Rocky Mountain original. And by Turtle Wax, the world's largest selling car wax. And by Haviland's superior grade motor oil. Fights sludge, protects engines. And by Goodyear Tires. Goodyear, 
because there really is a difference. 